Remember the old days when we wanted to split an event at a certain point and then trim it? That was two separate operations. I'm going to hit the S key, then grab and start trimming. Well, that's the old way of doing it. The new way, and I'm going to undo here, is to do this all in one operation. So I'm going to hold the Control, Shift, and Alt keys. And I'm going to hover right over the middle of the event here. And you can see this new editing tool icon, the arrow with the kind of film strip in the middle of it. I'm just going to click right here and the split happens. And from here, I'm just going to drag the edge. And so that becomes kind of one operation, split and trim. Now, if you want this to work with snapping as well, let me go ahead and undo this. I'm going to put, let's say, a marker here. I'm going to hold Control Shift Alt, start the split, and then once that's done, I'm not letting up on the mouse, but I'm going to let up on the keyboard keys, and we're still in the same editing mode, and now snapping will work just fine. And something also interesting about this tool is that we can also use it to delete events as well. So if you hold Control Alt Shift and you split and start to trim, and you say, eh, you know what, I don't think I'm going to use any of this event here. Just go ahead and slide it all the way over, and it's gone. It is deleted. Same thing would happen if you were going to just do it to the right. It's gone. So I'm going to undo out of that. And that was Control-Alt-Shift. We also have a new feature with just Alt-Shift as well. And that is to be able to just grab an event anywhere along the line here, holding Alt-Shift. And as I click and move to the left, it's basically going to shorten the clip. What's happening is it's kind of like a meat grinder, I think of it as, or if you're a vegetarian, maybe a juicer you want to think of. We're just kind of feeding it into a blade, let's say, is right here on the left edge. And we're just moving the event into the blade. It's chopping off the beginning of it, not messing up the end at all and we're simultaneously shortening the event and setting the endpoint at the same time. You could see on the preview that we're seeing the last frame and the first frame at the same time, and that first frame is changing as it's going into the meat grinder.